On the right hand side of the spool valve, there is 180 pounds per square inch being applied to one half square inch area of the spool valve. On the left side, there is 100 psi being applied to one square inch. The question is, which way will the valve move? Will the valve move to the right, to the left, or just stay in the middle? Well, if we test it, we'll see that the valve moved to the right. Well, why did it move to the right? Well, we're going to use our theory of applying the pressure on the surface area. On the left hand side, we had 100 pounds per square inch multiplied by one square inch. That gave us 100 pounds of force. On the right hand side, we had 180 pounds per square inch, but we only had a half square inch surface area. So 180 times 0.5 is only 90 pounds. So the valve moved to the right because the force on the left hand side was greater. Let's now look at another scenario. In this scenario, I've added a spring to the right hand side. And that spring is capable of putting 60 pounds per square inch of force on that half inch surface area. Now which way will that valve move? Will it move to the right again? Or will it move to the left? Or stay in the middle? Well, if we test it, we'll now see that it moves to the left. Well, why is that? Well, that's because the force on the right-hand side spool valve is now greater than the force on the left-hand side. We have 100 pounds of force on the left-hand side trying to push it to the right. And on the right-hand side, we have 120 pounds of force trying to push it to the left. We take the 90 pounds of force from the 180 psi of fluid pressure and we add it to 30 pounds of spring force. 30 pounds of spring force comes from 60 pounds per square inch being applied to a half square inch. 60 times 0.5 is 30. So how do we make this apply to a spool valve in flow control? Well in this animation, fluid is coming in port 1 and passing out port 2. We have 100 pounds pushing the valve to the right and only 95 pounds pushing the valve to the left. Therefore, the valve stays in the right hand position and the flow goes from port 1 to port 2. If we lower the pressure on the left hand side from 100 pounds per square inch down to 80 pounds per square inch, now the force on the right hand side of the valve, which is pushing it to the left, pushes the valve to the left and now we close off port number 2 and the fluid travels from port 1 out port 3. This is what we use to control the fluid flow through a spool valve. If I raise the pressure on the left hand side back up to 110, the valve moves back and now we send fluid from port 1 to port 2, closing off port 3.